Now, as you can see, these wires, they don't quite make it to the end. They're just shy of making it to the end. So, if I'd have had the, if I'd have used two ballasts, probably wouldn't have that problem, but it's nothing but a thing. What I did was kept some of the blue wire from the old ballast. And again, all I'm gonna do is figure out which way I'll need this to mount. I'm gonna use this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put the wire in and then run it forward. And slide it into this slot. And same with this one. This one's gonna sit like this. So shove the wire in. And as you can see, unfortunately, this one has deteriorated. That happens. They're old. So uh anyway. What you would do is run this wire over there, then you'll need to get some wire nuts. So this one was connected to this one. Each one has its own each one has its own wire. So what you do is you just take a simple wire nut and twist these together. And what I like to do is stick my finger in it, loop it over, just so all the wiring is tight. And I'll go ahead and I'll have to buy a new uh, piece. What's nice about these is they come right off. Well, with a, with a little bit of work, they come. This piece comes off the metal bracket. Of course, if I didn't have this jumper wire in the way, it would come right off. Let me get a, let me go ahead and there's the jumper wire out of the way. You just dis, you just discard this piece, throw it away, and buy a new one, and it slips right back into this bracket. Now the red side, as you can see, is quite a bit distance between that and the end of the light. I didn't have any red wire left over from the other ballast, so I had to go out and buy wire. You just buy solid core, I believe that's 22 gauge or 20 gauge wire. And then you just, uh, I try to match up the color, which I did, I got, I got red. And uh, what you do is, you don't want to skimp on it, because if you ever have the ballast go out again, you want some extra wire. So what I'll do is maybe add eight inches. Cut my wire there and then make two two lengths of that. Go ahead and you know, go ahead and make a couple lengths of wire. Snip it, and there you go. We'll go ahead and strip back both ends, 
There's a wire again. Again, it comes right down to the end here, and again, I have uh, this receptacle is going to go on this side. So I want the wires to come down. I want in the side, came down between that. And then I just lean the wire forward. So when I do that, the wires will slide in, be in the right spot. And that goes in just like that. And again, this wire, I'm gonna go right through again. I'm go right through this hole. go pull it around this little lip pull it forward lay the wire in the trough slip it in there's our red wires Two small wire nuts, just like this. And there you have it. That's how you wire up a new one. Of course, I need to get a new receptacle for that end. But other than that, it looks all nice and tidy. And the whole thing is, you really have to follow the wiring diagram that's on the ballast itself. Well, I hope that helps you convert a T12 light fixture over to a T8. Um, nice thing about this is T12 and T8s, they both use the same exact receptacle. The, the pin, um, the distance between the pins is the same on a T8 as it is on a T12. And uh, the benefit is the T8 uses less wattage which is a 32 watt versus a 40 watt bulb and it's a bright and it's supposedly brighter uh, from what I could tell eh, maybe maybe a little brighter but the whole thing is, is just saving energy I guess and uh, plus they're gonna be doing away with T12 light bulbs I guess in the future so this conversion is uh, definitely worthwhile and I hope you enjoyed it Thank you.